Hey, what's up, Internet? Welcome to another tutorial on NS2. In this tutorial, we are going to implement capture effect in NS2. And also, we'll discuss something about signal to interference noise ratio, uh, which is going to be the deterministic factor in the implementation of capture effect. Now, uh, let's begin with a with the theoretical definition of capture effect. <coughs> Now, in case of a wireless communication network, if packets from different sources, they arrive at the destination at the same time, uh, the packet with the larger received power would be accepted and the other one will be dropped, uh, thereby avoiding collision that results in dropping of both the packets. And this phenomena is known as capture effect, by the way. And <clears throat> um, the signal to interference noise ratio plays an important part because uh, if we increase the transmission power of the packets at the source nodes, that will increase the SINR. And if the SINR is above threshold at the receiver, we 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 would consider that packet to be uh, accepted at the receiver. So I have uh, a small scenario drawn here. Oh, all right, we've got node zero and node two, and then I've got node one as the receiver. If node zero and node two try to send the packets simultaneously to node 1 with the same transmission power they will result in a collision but if let us say the packet sent by node 2 has a greater transmission power it 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 would be received by the receiver now uh, I've got this uh, capture effect.tcl file that that you can download from the link in the description below and uh, you need some kind of uh, prerequisites that you need to meet uh, in order to perform this experiment let me just briefly tell you about them uh, you will need to install NOAA and you need to d disable ARP and then you would need to replace 80211cc and H files as specified by the small course website. You could copy this content and you could paste both the files into, you could go to uh, NS all in one 2.35 and in that folder you'll find Mac folder and there you can replace the contents of 80211H and 80211CC. So after having done, done that, you could simply run the simulation. When you do so, uh, you could, you would, when you run this simulation, you would find two files at the output. And if you open test.trace file in PSPAD, uh, you would find that no collation is detected there because I have kept the uh, transmission power of node 2 to be at a higher level than that of the node 0. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to disable this so that both node 0 and 2 they have the same transmission powers and they would result in collision. So I'll save this file I'll run the simulation again 
and let me just test the test or trace file again and that has resulted in collision at these two times all right you can see collision collision here all right now that is how you can change the signal to interference noise ratio by adjusting the transmission power of node 2 by increasing it to a certain level keeping it higher than that of node zeros and you could take it all the way to one and then you could monitor the test or trace file for the collision and its avoidance by implementing the capture effect and uh, that's about it i hope this quick tutorial was helpful and thank you so much for watching this video and as always you have a very very good day and a good life ahead bye